Hey everyone, it's Marcos Hernandez here. I'm just gonna go right into it. There were some questions that came down um, from fans that wanna know, you know, some things uh, of my experience in the music industry and what that looked like and what I learned. Um, also understanding that there are no questions that cannot be answered right now. There's no reason not to reach out. We all need to be connected right now, especially during these times. Um, we're all going through it the same way. So if there's any questions you guys have going forward, don't feel bad for asking me. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I have a brief moment right now at work. I'm a little slow, so I just wanna make sure that I'm asking this question. So the question was, um, what was my boy band experience like? And what did I learn? My boy band experience hit me when I was 17. I was in high school. I was an AP student. I was an honor student. I had I like a 3.7 GPA. I had to give all that up to go into normal classes because I was missing so much class. The principal worked with me. Um, I had excused absences that were unexcused, but they kind of just swept them under the rug. I had a choir trip I was supposed to take that I couldn't go on because I was busy um, touring. I also was recording a lot. I also had to act, act a different way in high school. I also went from 230 size 38 waist to 175 um, size 34 because at the time my mother got diagnosed with diabetes. And so we cleaned up the pantry and learned how to cook better for all of us. Um, I've carried all that on now uh, still, I'm, I'm not diabetic, but um, my siblings are at risk. So I just make sure that I do what I can to make sure that I mitigate the underlying conditions that could affect me in the future. And that's always, always something that you guys should always be thinking about. Stay healthy, get your sunshine, take your vitamins, work out, you know, drink water, um, stay positive, you know. Um, and even then, you know, um, I had to hide who I was could not be an out musician, was frowned upon. Uh, even in high school, could not say I was gay. Uh, a lot of people suspected um, up until about maybe about six years ago that I actually come out and say, you know, this is who I am. This is the musician I wanna be. This is where I'm coming from. I always felt kind of strange talking about, ooh girl, ooh baby, ooh darling, ooh woman, knowing full well that that wasn't my jam um, but I had to fake the funk, you know, you got to fake it to make it. And I learned that being disingenuous actually corrupts your soul and corrupts your writing and corrupts how you perform on stage. And these days when I perform, it's more me, quite honestly, like I really feel okay being me on stage, you know, talking about even... Uh, one of my most recent songs, Endless Nights, which you guys can find on Spotify and YouTube and all that stuff, but um, Endless Nights talked about a girl, and now I've switched the line to a boy because I have a loving partner, and he's great, and he holds me down, and uh, I feel like happier these days because I get to be me. So that is the answer to my question, you know, how did um how was my boy band experience it was weird because i had to filter who i was and these aren't the times to be filtering yourselves now is the time to be truthful to who you are and what you're about and what you want to do with your life because then that only helps you help other people be themselves being genuine to yourself helps others be genuine to helps others be genuine to other people as well. So the, the, it's like kind of a ripple effect. Um, I want you guys to take that through the day. What can you do for somebody else coming from a genuine standpoint? What did I learn? I learned to be genuine. I learned what the kind of music I was doing. It wasn't necessarily pop, wasn't necessarily rock, not, not R&B. It's just good music. I wanted to learn how to do good music. And now that I'm doing music that is genuine to me, it sounds like good music. And it could be country, it could be rap, it could be rock, it could be indie, it could be pop, it could be whatever. It's just that I wanted to do music.
I love performing. I love to sing on stage. Um, I never wanted to be in the music machine. I just wanted to send out whatever message the universe was trying to provide to me to you all. And hopefully learning from my experience so you don't make the same mistakes that I did, especially with the new generations coming up. You know, I was stifled and filtered. I don't want you guys to feel like you're stifled or filtered. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to baking and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll be posting more of these videos more often. Um, and please ask questions and message me directly. I don't mind answering them. I, I actually, I'm glad that I'm coming back into music and connecting myself back with my fans. Um, and yeah, stay blessed and stay safe and do what you gotta do. Make sure you drink water and make sure that you work out and make sure that you get plenty of sun and take your vitamins. Have a good one, bye.